What's up cousins? It's Sienna and welcome back to CC's room. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, hey, welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. So today we've got five seconds of summer teaches you Aussie slang. Um, um, shout out to Milani Avocado. Joe coming right here, girl. You said that we should react to Five Sauce Teaches You Ozzy Slang. It's also part of the quarantine mess. So I am excited because I don't know. Like, bro, it's it's Australian slang. Like, I don't even I don't even know what could be slang in Australia, bro. Like, if you think about like like American slang is like, bro, sometimes like people be saying something, I'll be like, bro, I have no idea what you're saying. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I I speak English. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'm excited because I just you never know what's gonna come out of people's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead and get into it. Hey sir, was this written by my dad or something? <laughs> this is some this is some deep slang. Hello there. We Not have five seconds of summer. Slang. I'm, I'm Callum. <laughs> it's like, what's my name? I'm uh, sorry, I didn't know who was going to go next. <laughs> I didn't know who was going next. Today, we have five seconds of summer. We're calling in from home to Vanity Fair to teach y'all some uh, Aussie slang. Yes. No, I didn't like his. <laughs> Not I didn't like his. <laughs> All right, first one, bathers. Bathers. People always take baths. Like, is this like yes. what you wear at swimming yeah, trunks? Like yeah, swimmers. Yeah, or like, like, I don't know, maybe you're in a communal bath. And I there. No, never. No, like a bather, like another person. <laughs> yes, I thought it is. I thought it was like somebody else is bathing. I didn't think about it's the freaking. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's. All right, so bathers. Uh, okay. A fellow bather. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, <laughs> a fellow a person that takes showers. So I think that what this one means is uh like your what do you what what do people say over here like your swimming trunks swim trunks is very american to us that's it yeah. sounds like a cartoon to me yeah we also <laughs> say swimmers well, it yeah. sounds like it's a cartoon to me I, it's always really tough when we have to say like bathing suit that's the weirdest one for me i don't like that at all i don't no like that is, or you can say no walking furries <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one no worries, no whackers, no whackers. Okay. There's no problem here. We have no issues with what is happening. Okay. Akuna Matata. Yeah. Yeah. Akuna Matata, oh, yes. Have a blue. Oh, so. It's have severe. a blue. This is my dad would say this all the time. If they get into a fight, and it's called a blue. So if you're is like, a... maybe coming from the bruising you received from. That's what I was going to say, a black guy? I don't know. But my dad would always call that, oh, uh, yeah. Like, if like, football has gotten a fight. Like, yo, they're gonna have a blue or something. I didn't, I didn't know, know that one. one. I didn't that's, know that. That's good knowledge, Luke. That's Thank good you. knowledge, give Luke. Give a bell. I can only assume give a bell. Does anyone know what this is? I don't know what Never. this is. Hold right, on, let me give it a Google. Is I'm this? Assuming... I'm gonna go with give a bell like a bell like ding like oh okay like oh it's something that rang it like um like a like a like a like an idea like an idea. Wouldn't you just give someone a ring, call them? Oh, oh yeah. I was saying it's give it's someone not, a bell. Uh, yeah. no, I should have known that. Did you call I was Tommy never gonna go with that because I've got a six pack of VB, so give him a bell. Rug so up. give him a bell. Rug up. I, you, what I are know these? What I don't even I know, know what it is. <laughs> what are these? Alright, go on then. No, I do, know what it is. Alright, so this one basically means if it's cold outside, right? If it's cold outside, rug yeah, up. Yeah, rug up. So put, put something on. on. <laughs> Or like <laughs> grab a, your nearest rug it your can be taken rug. literally yeah that's good is that yeah, right so that's good traditionally yeah you say you go into you know you, you, your mum and dad you got a soccer game on saturday morning it's cold outside because you know it's early and it's you know in winter or something oh mate go, you got a rug up before you go out there you get a catch up i love that <laughs> rug up that yeah great rug memoir <laughs> yobbo you bloody yobbo I don't know. The most yobbo man in the group taken away, actually. So am I technically a yobbo? Always uh, have, always will be. Is that a yobbo? Always a yobbo. Like, does that mean I'm a bogan? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. What is a bogan? What? Unsophisticated person? What? So what is going on? 
on. Oh, oh, my hair's got in my nose ring. Rip it off. Oh my gosh. This hair's gotta go. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, I'm not an unsophisticated person. And he's like, am I a bogo? Oh my gosh, what's a bogo? Oh, he's a bogo. Bogan. Bogan? Bogan? Like, is it a bogan? <laughs> yeah, 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 a bogan. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I was Sydney, saying bogo, like, buy one, get bogan. one. Darrow. Yeah, I think this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, I picture him a case of VBs. He's got thumbs on. That's um, what do you call me? Flip flops, and he's got some like maybe some Sydney Swans football shorts on. No shirt. And he, he no doesn't shirt. Like anything. Yeah, nothing. He's especially, not especially not you. I'm he not doesn't a like yoga. anything. <laughs> it sounds like you're telling yourself that. I'm like, uh, cool, was it? Idiot box, dude. Pretty self-explanatory i don't think i've ever actually heard this or maybe i've been called it that it just seems pretty strange to the point you are an idiot box what I is it? Was a, i thought it was a television i thought it was a television <laughs> oh idiot I, go I googled it and it actually it does say tv but i've never even heard Ooh. i've never heard that one but you wouldn't call someone an idiot box like a i know so i was like why are you talking about this yeah i guess oh, i can I love see this one legless <laughs> legless what is this let's get Legless. You getting drunk? <laughs> oh, oh, are you getting yeah, wasted? This means, this means legless just means let's get absolutely f***ed up. Let's get wasted. Let's get oh. absolutely f***ed up. The point that we can't stand up. Like there's so many beers, I can't even use my legs. I can't even use my legs. I would have never thought oh, that. Yeah. Bloody oath. Bloody this oath. Is, is that a promise? On the daily. This is one of my favorite Australian slang terms. Basically, it's an agreement. So, Ashton, ask me something. Wouldn't you say the weather is spectacular today, mate? Oh, bloody oath, Ash. Great point. <laughs> it's just so you disagree? Stage, so hammering it home. Bloody hammering oath. it home. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> so, in the high school, there was a type of person, a guy or a gal, and you would call them a whoop whoop because okay. they would do this to everything. It's recess or it's lunchtime. They would go whoop whoop. <laughs> or, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a rebuttal for maybe a second, maybe. That was, I'm like, that wait. Was the best thing ever. <laughs> you call the guy a wolf wolf. Is or, this? Uh, you could kind of compare it to where we grew up. So, like, you're city folk. You're talking to city folk, and they live in the city, and you're like, well, I came out from whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop is a suburb which you don't name because it, they wouldn't know where it is away, no one yeah. no one's ever heard of it <laughs> i'm a dead it's like a rural area you know what do you say oh and my that's probably where the yobos are from they, they hang out with the yobos look at the yobos out there the yobos are legless set in whoop whoop for sure yes oh, next one is it's a oh bloody oath i am a dead it's the use of all of the freaking <laughs> slang words in one in, in like a span of 10 seconds legless set in whoop whoop for sure uh, bloody oh bloody oath bloody next oath. one is shout Ooh. all right so i've taken a bit of stick for this um if you're a bit of a cheap seat, like that, you're a bit of a cheap person, then you don't like if if you go to the bar, instead of like buying a round, you'd shout around for everyone. So you like buy a dr uh, like a round of drinks or maybe a meal. So you would like shout someone. I, I don't think you're too familiar with that one. I'm like what? To explain that one. I've been Wait, hold on. Ones, so you like buy a drink. Okay. Uh, like a round of drinks or maybe a meal. So you would like shout someone. I I don't think you're too familiar with that one to you explain that one i've been shouted a bunch yeah that that's true <laughs> so, uh, okay no 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 no, no 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 if you're a bit of a cheap seat you're cheap like that you're a bit of a cheap person then you don't like if, if you go to the bar instead of like buying around you'd shout around for everyone so you like buy a dra uh, like a round of drinks or maybe a meal so you'd like shout someone i i don't think you're too familiar with it so okay so you buy the drinks, but then you shout around. Are you, are you doing it because you want somebody else to pay for it? Or are you doing it because you want everybody to know that you paid for it? Like, I don't, I don't know. I need help with this one. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm impressed to you explain that one. I've been shouted a bunch. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> uh, dog's breakfast. 
Today, I'm a little hungover. I got legless last night and I stepped mm -hmm. outside into the sunshine. I caught a glimpse of myself on the reflection of the car. <laughs> And I look like a dog's breakfast. <laughs> it's insinuating you've given the dog the leftovers from the food you ate in the past week that isn't going to go used. You go, I'll give it to the dog. I don't want it to go to waste. So it looks like a conglomeration of all different things. I'm a dead. Now you've looked at your face and you go, man, my face resembles a dog's breakfast. Also quite similar to the saying, a head like a half-sucked mango. Yeah, which I'm that's all sure you yeah. were, Which I'm sure you would. An unattractive person. So basically, a dog's breakfast is an unattractive person, but head like a half sucked mango. Bro, do y'all know what this remind me of? Like, you know when like um like uh like real country people like like people that be like, uh oh, what do they be saying? Stuff like um by golly, I didn't uh, like you know like they say like random things that just doesn't make any sense, but it's just like a, so off the wall that you're just like, oh my gosh, this is this is hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like, <gasps> bro, that's what this is giving me head like a half sucked mango. <laughs> what? What is a half sucked mango? We're looking like as well. That gives me the shivers. That one, I love that one. <laughs> that gives me the shivers. Like you know, it's me after a tour. I look like a dog's breakfast. Me after a tour. <laughs> oh, Larkin. Okay, American. it's all coming back to me. I'm getting in the headspace now of a, of a true Aussie growing up. I heard these okay. a lot in my neighborhood. So Larrikin, the parents are like upset at the kids for like making a bunch of noise. They're carrying on, walking around with heads like half suck mangoes, whoop whooping around, and that would be <laughs> referred to as Larrikin. Yeah, Aussie Larrikin, uh, funny bloke. You know, he's you oh. see Larrikin, you see Larrikins abroad, and you run into them. <laughs> and if you're a fellow Larrikin. And there's a group of people, and this is our Australian friend, Glenn. And he's like, G'day, my name's Glenn. He's really big personality, really putting on the Australian, because that's his main characteristic, and that's how he made friends abroad. Okay. That is totally you, American. You don't want to try mm. outshine him, because so... he will be left feeling insufficient, <laughs> and uh, it's his yeah. little little cool thing that he was Australian. So and there's always one, that, and if you look around your friend group, and you're saying, we don't have a larrikin, that larrikin is you. I think the <gasps> I'm the larrikin. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like a larrikin is just like a person that's just like uh, over the top, goofy, does a lot, does the most. Um, that's what I'm going with. Hopefully, I I I I think that's right. Solution would be, you know, Yobo larrikin, true blue, right? True blue genuinely Looks australian like okay the ultimate mm -hmm. evolution state that you can get to oh this one's easy broly i i don't know this one you do it really oh, broly it's uh umbrella Ooh. not in quaker's hill mate it's, it's, called, it's called an umbrella <laughs> it's called an umbrella <laughs> yeah you go 30 minutes 30 minutes wester westerly westerly and, uh, it'll be called the broly notice just notice how much time we're saving by shortening these words, <laughs> yes, you know, put little put little spin on them. Dude. It's just at the end of your life, you're gonna have so much when free you start, time. Yeah, when you count up the amount of time you save, over like a hundred years, you save maybe like who knows five minutes. At least. You're gonna live for a hundred years. <laughs> you think you're Absolutely gonna live for it? <laughs> yes. One twelve me. One twelve me. That horse has never won a race. You got Buckley's chance. <laughs> There you go. So you'll never finish high school. You'll you never Buckley's do that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Buckley back in the day. But this is where the underdog will shine. Now, when yes. they put Buckley's chance on you, yeah, I got Buckley's chance, but I'm going to show them Buckley Shut does up. have a chance. And I'm going to be a do victory it. story. <laughs> 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 it's a wine bag but goon isn't isn't a thing it's a it's more of a philosophy okay we young kids we would all come around and we'd all drink goon together and it's 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 like it's very bonding when you drink goon with someone goon was more than a mentality now 
Young Yabos everywhere turned it into a Young masterful yabos. game, which requires skill. It's called Goon of Fortune. You get two clothesline pegs, and you peg the goon to the clothesline, and you, you get your mates, and you hopefully, I mean, you just hope with your whole heart you just that the hope. goon will land on you when you spin the clothesline. And there's a bunch of bunch of heads around a clothesline just standing there waiting waiting for the clothesline to land in front of you and then when it lands on you you suck as much goon as you can out in five seconds <laughs> and everyone chance chosen one chosen, chosen one, one. So when you finish the goon you slap the bag and you open you open another one this <laughs> is a long time ago she'll what? be happy is this what? similar to she'll be right yeah yeah, it's, yeah you're okay. worried about this yeah, something's going on you're worried about it you're like gosh oh, she'll be apple she'll be right mate She'll be apples. apples. Heard of that one, but I like the, that. The thing about these kind of terms is used in context in Australia. If you're an Australian, you'll definitely get most of these. She'll be apples. Wouldn't even question that. Yeah, she will be apples. Guaranteed. It's <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. I can't, I can't go through another one. <laughs> she will be apples, but it's all contextual. I could say, yeah, she'll be she'll be mixed bag of fruit. Yeah, she'll be bamboo. She'll be Sunday. <laughs> it's more like the she'll cadence of the melody and the tone blue. of it. Yeah. Yeah. He says about the melody, the tone of it. It's more like the cadence of the melody and the tone of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's how you deliver it and why and how when. You <laughs> and why and when? Thing. You know, it's a complex culture down in Australia. <laughs> I don't expect all of you to understand <laughs> <it>. <laughs> She will be apples, she'll be apples. Don't go getting on too many goon bags. Look after each other and your fellow yobos, remember? No, Don't stop. I need all of these she in one. She will be apples, she'll be apples. Don't go getting on too many goon bags. Look after each other and your fellow yobos. Remember, remain the larrikin in your friends group. Remain the larrikin in your friends group. I will remain the larrikin in my friends group. I definitely will. There is no doubt about that. I I love it. I'm gonna have to go back to this video and I'm gonna have to write down these in their definitions so that I can use these on a daily basis to stunt my friends and my family because this is what life is about. <laughs> it's about using language that nobody knows about so that they're like, what are you talking about? Oh. You're not cool enough to know. That's fine. And then you just like flip your hair and you just move along with life. Like, oh, these lame people. Ah, oh, they. Ah, oh, these people don't even get it. Ah. Oh. I. I have Australian slang in my vocabulary. Like, mm, you guys are peasants. Like, <laughs> I'm bilingual. Australians speak English, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't matter. I'm bilingual because I've got the slang. I've got the slang in my backpack. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to. And blue hearts or true hearts.